It's not often a high school athlete from our area signs an athletic scholarship to play for a Southeastern Conference school, but it happened this year. The athlete I'm speaking about is Scottsville's Morgan Rich. The knee brace she wears is a constant reminder. Allen County Scottsville senior Morgan Rich tore her ACL in her right knee late last season, ending her junior year on the basketball court prematurely. I was accelerating for a layup. I was going up for a layup, and uh, I just kind of landed awkwardly. She ran in front of me, so I kind of turned my upper body. And so it was just an awkward land, and I knew at that moment, I knew that, I mean, I was like, I'm out for the season. I know that everyone's trying to tell me, like, you're going to be fine. You'll be back in a couple weeks. No, I knew I was done. It was definitely, that. that's the hardest thing I've ever had to go through, you know. Uh, but I put all my trust in God, and I knew that I would get back as soon, or I knew that it would take a few months, but I would be back to normal just like I was before. Talk about just the rehab and how tough that was for you. Oh, rehab was really tough. Um, I had to go, well, as soon as I got back, or before my surgery, I had to go to rehab every day. I'd drive to Bowling Green and go to rehab or five days a week. And then they rehabbed me to where I could have surgery because there was so much inflammation. And then, um, uh, then I started like in the summer, it was three days a week and I would go over there and they worked me to death. I would come out of there dripping with sweat, you know, but I knew that that was what I had to do. And they say that if you can work as really hard, then you can be, you can come back better than you were before. How proud are you that she's been able to come back and, and, and get back to almost hundred percent at this point? Well, it shows a lot about her character and her, her willingness to uh, really um, put things into perspective. Uh, she's worked really hard of, uh, you know, individually getting back onto the court. Uh, but she has become a really good teammate through all this process as well. I think our team got, um, they really stepped up to the challenge last year when she did go down and they continue to play at a high level. And uh, I think that has made us a better basketball team because of that. Talk about this season and, and what you guys would like to accomplish. Uh, we're really excited this season, you know, everyone, but everyone doubted my girls like that without me that they couldn't do anything but they know that they can and they're working and they worked without me and now um, now that I'm back you know we want to, we're wanting to get a state championship so we're working really hard to do whatever we can to get that it will be tough but it is a lot of hard work but it, but you guys sound like like you're confident oh yeah we're really confident we really uh, we come in every day that's just our goal every day we're like if we want a state championship we got to practice as hard as we can we got to do whatever we can to get that and to make each other better and so yeah we're really looking forward to uh, seeing how far we can get in the tournament. You guys are currently ranked eighth in the state of Kentucky. What will it take to be successful this season, maybe even more successful than you were last year? Well, we don't put a lot of stock into rankings, especially at the beginning of the year. What really counts is at the end. But at this point, um, you know, we understand that, that we do kind of have a target on our back. And we want to continue to do things right and continue to play at a high level, regardless of what kind of rank that it is played on. Uh, but. Uh, we have a good team that is willing to play for each other. They're willing to share the basketball. They're willing to step up and do exactly what it takes. Uh, each individual person understands their role and their piece to make the puzzle clear. So for that, I, it's a lot. I commend the kids on their work ethic and their willingness to become a better team. If you had to pick one area where you really need to improve on, maybe over from last season, what area would you say that would be? Well, we just we gotta we gotta continue to shoot the basketball better and be consistent. Um, you know, there are games that we shoot well, and then there's there's games that we don't. So there, you know, it's one thing I think any coach can kind of talk about is consistent scoring. Um, gotta we just gotta continue to run uh, run the floor and, and get better defensively. Like I said, we've got we've got playmakers, we've got the tools. Uh, it's just their willingness to step in each and every day in each game and put it all together. And you have signed with the University of Kentucky women's basketball team. I know you have to be excited about that. How, how neat is it knowing that after this season is over that you're actually going to be playing at, a, at an SEC school? Oh, I'm so excited. You know, I go up to Lexington like every other weekend or every other or every month at least, and I'm so excited. I can't wait to be there. It's a big change from, you know, playing high school basketball, the level of uh, – the level of play is just so much different and so much harder, and I'm going to have to work a lot to get to where I need to be. And um, But, yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to play for an SEC school because that's always been my childhood dream since I was four years old. I was, like, watching kids, people on TV, I want to do that. That's, so I did whatever I could to get to there. You know, it's a big thing for, for anyone to sign SEC, and that was one thing that Morgan wanted to do from, from day one. You know, she's, she set this goal when she was young, and she, she really wanted to achieve that, and she did whatever it took to get to that point. 
Um, so it's a big thing for her. It's a big thing for the school and, and for this team and her teammates. It's a big thing for this community. And um, so to, to watch her grow and mature as a basketball player and to watch her teammates sit and watch her be able to sign and know that they were a part of that as well, uh, it's, it's a big thing. I'm very, very super proud of her. And if Rich can stay healthy the entire season, the Lady Patriots have a great shot of advancing to the state tournament in March at Western Kentucky University. Reporting in Scottsville, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.